first, Shri Guru was explaining how the question came up whether Tulsi Devi uh, is mother, and Shri Guru Dev explained that she cannot be mother. Uh, now, first was Tulsi. No, in the class, in the, in the room, there were so many. If his mother, then she cannot enter into Ras either. Um, her general know her, but those who want to serve Radha Krishna conjugal, or if they are thinking, oh, they will never enter. Hmm. Oh. Then shall go to ask the question. You are understanding what he is telling? No. Eh? No. Those who are not. Uh, th uh, those who are um, understanding, they should like do. Those who are understanding. Those who are not understanding should. Then all are. All are understanding. What Manjari you understood? What? What he told. What he told. That um, Shrimati Tulsi Devi should not, we should not think of her as mother because it's against the conjugal mood. For general devotees. Oh, she may be called mother. But those who want to enter in Vrindavan, <coughs> in the service of Radha Krishna conjugal, if they are thinking, or oh, they are unqualified there, they should. But then? Then Shri Gurudev asked the question, why Krishna uh, sent back the wife of the Brahmins who um, came to offer, to bring an offering, why he sent them back. And she would have explained that to uphold karma, religious principles, and um, he explained also that Krishna wanted to give them his mercy, but in the next life they could um, get that mercy. And what was the reason? Why Krishna told? Yeah, because they were also mothers. And Brahminis, Brahmin. 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 Can you explain more? <coughs> Try to oh, remove all kinds of doubt. So, as I told, oh, you can see it now. Unlike the Unlike the gopis, the wives of the brahmanas, they um, they were because they were wives of brahmanas that upheld to upheld dharma, and they were sent back. And also, in of all anyone who are brahmins, kshatriya, or anything, shudra, anyone cannot enter in Krishna pastime. Only gopis, and only the gopis who who do not have children. Yes. What is the harm if children? Bad example. No example for this. No, he said it will be a bad example for others. No. no. Ananya bhakti is not present. Devotion is diffused. Ananya bhakti may be no harm. Diversion, diversion. They have some attachment for the children and some... The gopis of Vrindavan who had children and married, oh, they wanted to go in Rosh and very, very much attracted to Krishna, but they were unqualified <coughs> because they have children and any of the gopis who were taking part in the Ras, anyone has no children. If fire separation will come and they will be burned, their mood will be burned, then with the help of gopis, Nitya Siddha, they can. But if they have children, oh, they cannot come. If they are Brahmins and other costs, they cannot go. Gopis, or oh. in the guidance of Lalita Vishakha, by the mercy of 
योग माया देखा इनको अदरवाइज एंड व्हाट आफ्टर दैट ओ यो 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 राइटर एंड व्हाट मोर बट When you are in collective, well, then then you asked why Bhishma Pitamaha, why he was fighting against Krishna and Arjun, and Arjun, and, and he was Mahajan. And why, if he was fighting against Krishna and Arjun, is he Mahajan? You are understanding the question. <laughs> why is Mahajan fighting against the Lord Krishna? Yes, and. The answer is because he understood the desire of the Lord to kill the demons to establish yuga dharma. yuga dharma and if Bhishma help me out here <laughs> didn't fight on that if Bhishma didn't fight on the Kaurava side then Duryodhana I didn't have that in the notes <laughs> then Duryodhana never would have begun that war so why because he knew he could not win without the power of bishma because yeah, yeah. he was the great maharata why wow. <laughs> so therefore bishma had to remain silent during the insulting of dropadi he had to remain silent during the cheating of sakuni because he knew that the plan of krishna was to in, embark on the fratricidal kurukshetra war which would kill all the demons and all the chatriyas but if bishma didn't support Duryodhana then Duryodhana never would have had the courage to begin that war therefore understanding the desire of his worshipful Ishtadev Lord Krishna he remained silent and he pretended to fight against Krishna but he never had any intention of killing the Pandavas or Krishna but you Maharaj also said that at the beginning of the battle had arjun not offered his his arrow in respect yes. to bishma uh-huh. and bishma in turn granted him victory then the battle would have been lost on this the from krishna son another point also that duryodhana always told bishma dev oh you are fighting on behalf of me but always you are favoring to arjun then bishma told oh tomorrow i shall come tomorrow i shall kill 10000 soldiers but he never promised that i shall kill any pandavas <laughs> and also you said oh. the glory of uh, allowing dropadi to be the robe yes to show how krishna will always protect oh, all are hearing and what he is telling yeah, yeah. what he told you <laughs> what he told <laughs> more louder <laughs> why bhishma silent when Durjodhan and so, Durshasan oh, were taking his cloth. So that, so that um, everyone could see Krishna's mercy to give to Jopati, and he gave her sari. So everyone could see Krishna's mercy to her. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, it's a good. And to glorify Jopati for her devotion. To prove that Krishna will always protect his devotees. Once. And how Jopati is near and dear to Krishna. <laughs> Once. Durdarshan became very worried. Bhishma Pitamaha is not really fighting against Pandavas. He is cheating me, and he went and told Bhishma Pitamaha, "Why you are cheating me? I know that you don't want to defeat Pandavas. Oh, you should not think like this." you should not think like this and then oh one thing if you have no belief on me then you can believe by this way or to today tonight in night when i will be in trance of krishna mane godhead 
यू शुड ब्रिंग योर वाइफ भानुमति नेम वॉज भानुमति एंड एट दैट टाइम शी वुड कम टू मी एंड आई विल गिव ए बेनिडक्शन बोन दैट एनी वन कैनट किल योर हजबेंड सो यू विल बी सौभाग्यवती नॉट फॉर्चुनेट सौभाग्यवती मैन नेवर विद और नेवर विद एंड दैट यू विल बीन द बैटल ओ हि बी कैम वेरी हैप्पी एंड नेक्स्ट नाइट ही बी कैम टू रेडी बट इन द नाइट सो हैवी रेन हैवी रेन एंड सो मच कोल्ड सो मच विंड he told to his wife oh i wanted to go to bhisham pitama today in night but oh so much heavy rain how we can go so let we will go tomorrow no harm and then he was stopped and her, his wife was also stopped but krishna in heavy rain he told oh pyari shakhi draupadi come along me we will go to bhisham pitama he has promised to give a boon to his durjodhan wife you should make a well like this covering your face covering your face <laughs> and we should go in this way it may be that bhisham pitama will waiting for Bhanu the wife of durjodhan, durjodhan bhanumati to give boon so we should not uh, miss this opportunity oh come and he took that chariot and with umbrella he took draupadi in chariot and they went still there was so heavy rain anyhow he took again umbrella and sent draupadi inside or oh, inside the room of bhisham pitama he was in trance she was waiting but bell was there hmm? oh folding and sitting like in a prayer mood on knees bisham pitama after some time oh he opened his eyes and saw that oh bhanumati has come oh bhanumati saubhagyavati akhand saubhagyavati bhav means never we become we we do hmm? or uh, you will be victorious and your husband should be victorious hmm? then draupadi <coughs> began to smile and he took his bell <laughs> and did pranam to bisham pitama <laughs> oh bisham pitama oh very wondered wonderful yes wondered oh. Oh, how you came? Oh, have you come alone? She smiled. No answer. Oh, tricky person. <laughs> <laughs> The black person has come. Where is he? <coughs> oh, where is he? Oh, he is just standing awesome. and waiting outside. Oh, call him. <laughs> and then Krishna also entered, and then he. Oh, he was also as smiling. Then Bhishma Pitama told, "Oh, your mercy, to Pandavas is unparalleled. Anyone cannot defeat defeat Pandavas, and Draupadi will be for always a Khandasho Bhagyavati, where th- you are, and Dhanurdhar Parat, and where his chariot, and where is a lady." Just lady like Draupadi, anyone cannot defeat them. Be victorious, and so Bhishma Pitama was a high class of devotee. But only thing, he was Gyani Bhakta. Gyani Bhakta, you know, Krishna has no appetite. He never tires. Tire? Tired. Tired. No appetite. Nothing. Uh, any man at any kind of arrow cannot touch him because he is transcendental and arrow is not transcendental 
he cannot touch. So he used to shoot arrow. Like Gyani, Gyani Bhakta, like Sukhdev Goswami. Um, Sanak Sanatan in his before life, past life. First. Sukhdev like past life. They have nothing to serve. Bhisham Pitama. He never served like this, but he helped to fulfill the ways of Krishna. But he has some desire, it has been told. One thing, Cheto darpana marjanam bhava maha davagni nirvapanam seya kairava chandrika vitaranam vidya vadu jivanam anandam budi varadhanam pratipadam purunamrita swadhanam sarvatma sampanam param vijayate shri krishnam what is the meaning? What? What you want? What? Question? Oh. Quickly. In the Navadri Baba Chalanga, Bhakti Nara Thakur, he meets Vishma Devi. In the Navadri Baba Taranga, Bhakti Nara Thakur, Srila Bhakti Nara Thakur meets Vishma Devi. Yes. So my question is, uh, how did uh, Bhishma Dev attain uh, to uh, uh, Navadri? How he, had, he attained all the, no. all the associates of Krishna, whether Aishwarya or Madhurya, or the devotees of Ram, Nishingha, Kalki, Bhaman, all were assembled there. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Narayan, Krishna, uh, Ram, Nishingha, Kalki, Bhaman, all were there. So to serve their worshipable, worshipable in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, all were there. So Bhishan Pitama also was there. He is the devotee of Dvarkadhish. So he was also. Understand? Anything more? In the evening class. If you are always asking, then you cannot hear more. <laughs> Never. So try to listen more. You can ask. After you can ask mm. the Lord. <coughs> so, dan par marjan. Oh, you should. Meaning only. Where is? Shamrani. Shamrani. He is in trance? No, no. She was <laughs> working. She got working and not sleeping. And what was your question? Oh, my question. Why sometimes Guru take this demon disciples? What? Why Guru? In the morning walk you explained how Ekalabdhya, he was like a demon. Yes. And Guru, not like demon. 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 <laughs> More than demon. <laughs> Then you, you said that the Guru knows the mood, the desire motivation. of the disciple, the motivation. And if he is a high class of a realized Guru and qualified Guru, <coughs> then he will know. Otherwise, a Kaljugi Guru will not know. Um, Those who are deviated or they don't chant, have no attraction for Krishna and Harikatha, and they are not realized, or oh, they cannot know. But if a guru like this, oh, they can. So Ramesh Prabhu is asking why a guru accepts demons as disciples? Or oh, anyhow to help them. That if in his life one time he has chanted even something good, see, he may give chance. And sometimes rejects. Yeah. By, by reject, how? By heart, not outwardly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, you yes. In the first verse of Sri Sh Sh Shastakam, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Chaito Dharapana Marjanam, that the heart is like a mirror and it is covered by dust. <coughs> and the chanting of Sri Krishna Sankirtan cleanses the dust from the mirror of the heart. No. Never. How? Param vijayate Sri Krishna Sankirtana. Oh, Param. Param means transcendental. If anyone 
chanting transcendental word, Shabda Brahma, in a process, then these seven fruits will come, otherwise never. So Param Vijayate Sri Krishna Sankirtanam. How? In a process, he will be in a situation of very good devotee. Hearing and hearing, he will know our worshipable deity is Krishna. He is supreme personality of Godhead. He has so much affluence, but very merciful. And a desire to serve Krishna will come in his heart. heart. Then he will search any powerful guru. Powerful guru. And by the help of devotees, Sraman Guru, oh, he may choose his guru. And then he will serve, asking so many humble questions in humble way. And then he will fix that, oh, I should make him good. And then he takes initiation in real sense. And then he follows the instructions of Gurudev and serves as a friend. Oh, by chanting these names, Cheto Darpa, with a relation with Krishna. Then Cheto Darcha Marjanam Bhavati, otherwise not. This is the process. A transcendental name can come in our And then, really, our Cheta Darpa will be Please. otherwise known. More Cheto Darpa. That is why our Cheto Darpa Marjanam is not going. Very little, little, little. And again some dust comes. What dust? Material. Sense gratification comes. Hmm. Try to hear and then question. So if a devotee takes to the process of Sankirtan in the association of pure devotees, chanting with Sambandha Gyan and yes. giving up all Aparad and all Anartha, then this Sambandha Gyan, not high class of Gyan, ordinary Sambandha Gyan, Krishna is our we are eternal servant of this. Hmm. What is the meaning of Cheto Darpan Marjanam? You. One will firmly be established in the uh, in the concept that we are not this body and we are spirit souls, and thus he will, with this discrimination, clear the illusion between the body and mind and things related accordingly, and he will try to act on the platform that he is so. More? So then gradually. Can you? The uh, yeah, marginal means cleansing. Dharpa is the mirror, and Cheta, um, and, uh, and Cheta is the consciousness, the, the, the fine mirror between our Srupsiddhi and our conditioned self. What are the, what is the dust by which it is covered? Identification, Identification in, the, in the material body, in the material designation, mind and body. Oh. So many requirements, worldly requirements, mm -hmm. position, oh, unwanted things are there, Attach attachment to worldly things, so much attached to ladies, and so many things that has kuti, nati, and all other things. They will be removed, but not totally, hmm? not totally. Something will be there. But he can see his uh, heart and sometimes Krishna also. In what way? Only by moods, not really. But he will 
uh, realize something. And when it is Chetol Mardan going on, then a desire to serve Krishna and a taste in name and hearing Katha may come. These are the symptoms. Then you can think that. Like you have a library, there are so many almiras. The what? Doors of the almiras. Doors of the are <coughs> with glass. Cupboards. Covered. And lock is there. Books are there. Oh, the life of Prabhupada. Oh, Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Chaitanya. All are written there. But can you touch? No. Why? The glass is there. <laughs> so, you can realize something there. But even the doors of the cupboard, cupboard are there. Mahatattva is there. Uh, Very fine covering is there. Even so many unearths, no good, thick relation, no taste so much, but it is coming. So this is Chetu Mardar Padmarcha. Bhav Mahad Davagni Nirvapanam, Bhav Mahad Davagni. Because the conditioned soul identifies with his body, then he is subjected to so many different types of fear and suffering. But when he understands, I am the eternal servant of Krishna, because now his heart is becoming clear by the influence of the transcendental chanting of Harinam, then all sufferings, all sorrows, all anxiety and all fear quickly goes away. This is called Bhava Maha Davagni Nirvapanam. That the suffering of this material world, which is like a blazing forest fire, it becomes extinguished by the influence of the chanting of the holy names. Anyone can more explain? More? You? Uh, in the association of high class advanced devotees, we become aware what is really bhakti, pure bhakti. This is the. Bhav Mahadavagni Nirvapanam. Then, by practicing this pure bhakti, automatically all our problems, all our difficulties will go away. And so many wonderful, auspicious opportunities we see everywhere oh, to render service. Bhava Mahadabhagani Nirvapana means, Bhava means to taking birth and again going to death. So we are coming in this world for timing unlimited, we are taking birth and going to death again and again by cyclic order. So by the influence of chanting transcendental Harinam, this Bhava means to coming and going from this earth, coming and going to death, it will be stopped. This is Mahabhava, this is Bhava Dabhagni, it will be stopped. So, this is also one point of this. More? And More com points? Coming in this world, we are suffering in threefold miseries. Abdhatmik, Adidoivik, Adibhautik. So, all living entities, especially human beings, they are suffering all these miseries being in this world. So if we chant holy name, by, in, by influence of chanting pure holy name, then it will be also stopped. Oh, a very a strong dog was going on the road. And he has something in his mouth. And so many dogs were following. And they were trying to take and to attack that dog. Oh, so many, 20 or more than 20 dogs. Oh, in the meantime, his master came at once with a stick. danda, a stick. And all the dogs ran away. Ran away. And now he is very bold <laughs> and barking towards them. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, for this example, you should see that so many unwanted things, unearthed, aparad, 
were with that devotee. But he, Cheto Marjanam, came and he offered his whole life, whole senses and everything, oh, and became Saranagata. Became surrendered. Hmm? And if he surrendered, then who will protect him and save him? Whom he surrendered. Oh. Then if, if he surrendered and Krishna is there, then all kinds of bhaumaha dhavagni means all the suffering, sorrows, problems, the pain of birth and death, all will go. Bhava means oh, to take birth and to die. And to always burning in threefolded misery. This is Bhava Mahadava. Oh, when you are oh, surrendered. surrendered. And Krishna has accepted. You. accepted. Hmm? And now you are chanting some what? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 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 Krishna,
चंद्रिका इज द मून तो नेम इज चंद्रिका चंद्र हिमसेल्फ मून मून हैज रेज इन मून रेज और सो मच नेक्टर Norishman, nectar, and by nectar, what will be? Lotus. Or oh, by these rays, or oh, all the lotus will be in blossom, bosom, blossom, blooming. And madhu will be in in honey, honey. honey and then black. Bumblebee. Who is black bee? Krishna. <laughs> So devotee is like lotus, lotus. and name is like Chandra. If he is chanting in this way, how the Mahadavagni has gone away, and in the guidance of high class of pure Rasik Tattva Vaishnav or Guru, he is chanting Hare Krishna Hare. Oh, oh, this name will give his Kiran. रेस एंड इन रेस व्हाट इज देयर हनी नेक्टर इज देयर व्हाट नेक्टर ओ कृष्ण प्रेम भाव एंड इट विल कम एंड ऑल द डिवोटीज विल बी इन बुजम व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑल काइंड ऑफ ऑस्पिशस थिंग्स विल कम इन हिम क्लेशोग्नी सुबह द क्लेश विल गो एंड सुबह विल कम ऑल काइंड फर्स्ट ऑल काइंड ऑफ क्लेश विल गो क्लेश मींस Miseries will go, and all kinds of virtues or good qualities will come. <coughs> he will be humble. Tina dapi suni, taro dapi sahi sunu na, amani na, mano do. He will be tolerant, and so many qualities, and he will have taste. So these will come by the mercy of our oh, name, Krishna. Then. Fourth, vidya vadhu jivan. Oh, na, ta, time is now over. We will next day we will Tomorrow. explain very well, and you should try to know all these things, and then chant or oh, your name will be high class, first class, and you realize your cheto darpan marjanam, bhau maha dhavagni, sreya kairava chandrika. Oh, then no question of. Or devi deviate, deviation. nothing, right. nothing. Always he will progress. 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 Gaur Pramod.